This is Ashut Qureshi. Welcome to this Snooker Team Pakistan. And um, we are continuing our uh, improving our potting skills. And if you've seen my previous videos that is, that were in English language, that we worked on our ball carrier that was uh, between yellow, green, and brown. We've given ourselves a target to pot balls, and then we moved on to the blue spot around the blue spot and try to make a good break. Now this is very important area where you need to work very hard and uh, a lot of practice required to improve your skills around this area because most of the snooker games, snooker frames, snooker matches, you know, you're you going to pot more balls from this area than any other part of the table. So make sure that uh, you spend more time on this area than any other part of the table. So. This is again a very simple practice, but you have to give yourself a target as per your skills. If you are again 20 plus break player, give yourself a target of 50, 70 or 100 break uh, to pot all these colors and make your break. If you are a 30 plus break player or 40 plus break player, give yourself a target of 200, 300, 500 depending on your skills. So start with the lower figure achieve it and then move it towards a uh, higher level. So let's say if you're starting with your first figure that is 50. So next target you should be 100 and then 150, then 200. This may seem like a very simple practice, but trust me, the more balls you bought simply, the more better you get your focused on the ball and the more uh, improvement on your skills comes in uh, to improve your game and obviously your skills. So I'm going to start my practice from any color I like. You can do it the same. So let me start with the green. Don't put it straight because if you put a white ball in a straight line, then you can only do either the follow up short or the screw it back. So if you keep it slight angle, that will give you yourself a chance to move towards other color. Very nice position. I can either port soft screw on the yellow, but yellow is going to give me two points. So I'm going to port the black ball on this port of the cushion, stern chart. And again on the yellow, soft screw. 13. Or screw for the black. 15. Of the cushion. Twenty two. Okay. Now I can keep myself on this side or move on that side of the table. Uh, if you are on a beginner level, it'd be a good idea to play from the both sides. If you are an advanced player, maybe you can restrict yourself that you can make your break only from one side of the table, then achieve the same target on the other side of the table. But since you're playing on the both sides, uh, since you're a beginner or if you're, uh, if you're happy, then try to keep yourself on both sides. In this short, I'm moving towards the other side of the table, even though I can screw it back for the pink, but I will not. So try, that will also show you one thing that is keep your break as simple as possible. You don't have to be uh, very hard on yourself until unless you're working on, you know, very hard part of the game. So, soft screw. 28. Okay, soft screw on the yellow. 37. Soft screw on the green. 40. Softly on the black, soft screw. 35. Six, seven. 47 of the cushion. 
50. 50. So uh, I'm on my 50 and I'm still in the perfect position. One thing you've noticed that I didn't let my white ball straight off my uh, position. If I was, if I kept finishing my white ball on this part of the table, it would have been very difficult for me to pot, you know, few recovery shots. So this is also one of the very important secret of the game. They try to keep your white ball where you can place your bridge hand comfortably on the table, because the more close you are getting towards the uh, cushion, the, the harder it gets. So this is one of the practice that will help you to improve your skills on potting around the back and pin. Again, this may seem like very simple to you, but trust me, it is very important to achieve your target at least 500 points or maybe even 1000 points on this one. That will give you uh, a good start for the practice, advanced practices where the lineup comes in and there are more practices that I will be showing you soon. So start with this. If you make a good video of your doing these practice, please share it with me. I would like to share it with my uh, followers and my, our subscribers and then we work on your technique and we'll talk about the improvement of your skills as well. So keep sharing my Facebook page, follow it, sharing my, keep sharing my videos on your Facebook page, on your, uh, with your friends, on your wall. And if you've got any questions, please inbox me, leave your feedback. Looking forward to show you more videos in coming days. Also, I will be doing uh, live shows on snooker. Actually, that will be a very unique phase of the game. I've already done a few videos, live shows in Urdu language, but now from now on, there will be Urdu and English language uh, live shows as well. So if you have questions in English, you can always ask. We can always talk about your skills, your game, and how you can improve your skills. So practice hard, take care, take off your table, take care of your table, and uh, enjoy the game. Take care, bye.